So managing inventory here at Rickshaw, we don't have a fancy computer system for managing inventory. Uh, this would be called MRP system. When I was in Silicon Valley, 20 some years ago, MRP was all the rage. We had big mainframe computers managing all of our electronic components and stuff like that. In a complex business like making computers or making cars or making equipment, that's really essential. MRP software is really important. In our business, we don't have a lot of things that we have to deal with. Uh, you know, our messenger bag has maybe 20 components between the fabric, a couple of different colors, the labels, you know, five or six labels, a few buckles. When you really net it out, the, the bill of materials, the list of parts that goes into that is pretty short. And so we don't need some big fancy system for managing that. We do things really by a system that's similar to Kanban, which is basically there's a bin uh, full of parts and there's a bin right behind it full of parts. When the first bin's out and the second bin comes to the forward, it means it's time to reorder. And so usually there's a tag there that says, hey, it's time to reorder and this is how many we reorder. So what is the reorder point and how many do you reorder? So if we order buckles at you know, 1,000 pieces at a time and we get down to 500 and it's time to order another 1,000, we do that. In our fabric, we generally have no more than one or two rolls of fabric. We use one of those rolls, we know we got to order more. And, and then the other thing is we build everything to order. So when we get an order, our, the expectation from the customer is, oh, okay, it's going to be two weeks, three weeks, four weeks to get that because we're going to order the fabric, the buckles, all that stuff. Everything that we use here is available from our distributors or from our manufacturers on demand. So they have stock. So we're letting our manufacturers and our distributors hold the primary stock, not so much here. And so lean manufacturing in our processes, but also lean in our, in our stocking. And uh, because anything you buy and put into stock is just tying up your capital, tying up your money. And so if we were sitting on thousands and thousands of yards of fabric, then it would just, you know, that would be money that could be put to other uses or it could be in the bank. And then the other thing is we don't want to make big commitments to colors because they go in and out of fashion. So we only buy what we need at the time and then we're not stuck, you know, with 10,000 yards of some color that's not going to be popular. We're constantly looking for ways to you know, do things more efficiently, uh, do things in a more orderly fashion, you know, cutting our fabric into smaller rolls. We use fabric widths that are 15 and 20 inches wide. And so we actually pre-cut all of these rolls down into 50 inch wide or 20 inch wide sub rolls. Now, why 15 or 20 inches? Well, this is 60 inches wide. Divide by four, you get four nice 15 inch rolls. Divide by three, you get three 20 inch rolls. And if we could design all of our products using fabric widths of 15 or 20 inches, that'd be pretty cool. Because then we could cut everything and then this would just be like, you know, it's almost like rolling out paper towels. We just roll out however many inches we need, cut it off and we're done.